Hey, hey, all right, everybody, how's it going? Now, in front of me by here, by here, I've got the SMMT data. Now, let's have a look at the car registrations for December. So let's have a quick look at this and see what we got. So we got the full year for 2025. And you can see that we're looking mainly at the BEV registrations. And the total registrations for 2025 was 473,348, which was up 23.9%. So let's have a look at fuel type and we'll go through the numbers. Now, we got BEV for December, 47,139, and the change is up 8%. Uh, the particular market share for that month was 32.2%, um, which is not bad at all. But there is a but, <laughs> and there's probably going to be a few people in the comment section that might say that there might have been a lot of pre-registrations going on at the end of the year just to make the numbers up. Now, I do know, well, I don't know specifically, but I did read, I should say, that um, the car makers have hit their targets for this year because they are... There's sort of, there's ways they can get around it. They don't have to actually do 28% of BEVs through the whole year. There are ways of getting around it with certain, certain little, you know, little tricks of the trade. Um, so I think they've come in okay. Now next year, I think it goes up to, is it 33%? Something like that. I think it's 33%. If it's not 33%, I'll put it by the in front of me, the right figure of what they, the targets they got to reach for 2026. But anyway, let's get back to the numbers. So, BEVs 47,139, the change is up 8%. We got HEVs at 18,430, that's up 3%. Uh, and then we got FEVs at 16,898, and that's up 32.9 percent that's quite a big jump um so the growth has come from bevs hevs and fevs that's usually where the growth is coming from uh we got petrol at fifty-seven thousand. that's down 3.1 percent uh, and we got diesel 6175 and that's down 12.5 percent and only a 4.2% share of the market in December. Um, that is, diesel is quite low. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie about diesel. I'm not going to sugarcoat diesel. Um, and one of the biggest reasons is that car manufacturers now don't, you know, they don't produce as many models, if you know what I mean. Uh, particular models of diesels. There are less models to choose from. Um, you can still get them, but not as many models. And a lot of people are choosing not to buy them, especially companies and stuff, because the the incentives are not there as much for diesels anymore. Um, so diesels are down quite a lot. Petrol down a smidge. Um, it's sort of following a trend that it has done through the years. And the petrol thing is also the same. Uh like particular models now, where they would have been just a petrol car, now they might just be a hybrid car. So the amount of models for petrol cars is starting to disappear as well. Whereas it's been replaced either by a FEV or a HEV or a BEV. Um, so I think that trend is going to accelerate into 2026 and you're going to see less pure petrol models for sale and less pure diesel model for sale and this is specifically for new cars um because they're they're obviously trying to you know keep under the you know keep the rules the emissions rules and everything they're trying to keep within that now if if you think that pure petrol and diesel new sales are gonna miraculously bounce back I don't think that's going to happen at all because the main reason is the, the, the emissions, all these countries have emissions rules 
and they're all trying to, all the car manufacturers are trying to comply with all these emissions rules. And this is why you're seeing less petrol and diesel cars, you know, the models disappearing. They are getting less and less. Um, and then eventually that affects the second-hand market. Um, I think it's probably already affected the second-hand diesel market. Now, they're, they're saying that sec used diesels, and this is the older diesels, uh, the have slightly raised in sales. Um, and that's going to be quite a difficult situation as less and less diesels are on the road. Um, now, let's have a look at year-to-date. Well, we've already looked at year-to-date, really, haven't we? So what else can we look at on here? Let's have a look at the... Um, we look at top models. Now, for December, this is a bit unusual. Very unusual, I think, it is for December. Or maybe it's not. You tell me. Um, Tesla Model Y came in second place. And then further down there, Tesla Model 3 came in ninth place. Um, the Ford Puma, which is usually at the top, is still at the top. But I'm quite surprised to see the Tesla Model Y there, unless they, they had a push at the end of the year to sell their cars as well. So we look at 2025 by brand. We'll have a quick look through here, just quickly. Um, year to date... Look at BYD, still up 485%. Uh, let's look a bit further down at Tesla. Now, I think they're going to be down on the year. Uh, minus 9.58%, 45,000 vehicles. Um, X-Pen, 900 vehicles sold all in all, which isn't that much, is there? Let's have a look at Polestar. Polestar 16,959. They're saying that's up 95%. Uh, how's MG doing? They're up 4.44%. They're up, uh, Anything else to look at? Anything of note? Let's go down that way. Up this way, I should say. Uh, Leap Motor. Now, they've been quite slow. The old Leap Motor electric vehicles, I think they've been quite slow to take off. But it is... Overall, 4,273. I have seen a few on the road, not many, just a few. Um, Jayku, which is quite new to the UK, uh, selling like hotcakes. Everybody's buying them. Uh, look, they're up 13,408%. <laughs> That's because they weren't selling any the year before. Uh, so they've gone quite high. But uh, is there anything else to note on this year? I don't think so. Um, BYD is slip. We just said that, didn't we? So if we go back to fuel type, at the end of the year, uh, BEV registrations are still up. Now, uh, you might get some people now saying something along the lines of this. They're going to say, wait till next year. You're going to see EV sales plummet. OK, now I've been doing this long enough to remember doing this last year. <laughs> OK, because I do it every month. And last year, at the beginning of last year, right, people said, wait until the EV tax kicks in and sales will plummet and registrations will plummet. It didn't happen. It didn't plummet. Um, so I expect that to be said again this year. It was said last year. I think it was said the year before. It was said be the year before that, and the year before that, and the year before that. Every single year, there's certain people saying, wait until next year, EV sales and EV registrations are going to plummet. But it never materialises. Um, and the reason being is that, like I said, car manufacturers are trying, trying their best to sort of stay within the emissions rules. Anyway, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.